Hello everyone and welcome back to Corona's Plays Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth Hacks Memory. Today, well, I think we are actually going to be going up against K. Uh, he had to be at the end of the chapter. I've been saying that for like the last two episodes, I think. But, like, chapter 13 was relatively small. This one hasn't been long, but it feels like we are right at the crust of, like, the story conclusion. I don't think this is the last chapter at all. Um... We probably have a few to go, but we're right near, like, the ending point, I think. It feels like story-wise -wi line. Storyline-wise, yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. Let's see. This way. Grab this. we we'll probably go ahead and eliminate encounters now. Um, you fought a lot of guys. We'll, we'll give it one more. If it's a, if it's another repeat like the last one, then we'll just eliminate the counters, right? Alright. Oh, it's gonna be another one of those. Well, which one should we take? Right or left? Well, that's a good question. I guess left. It's not that gonna be a big a deal if it's like... I should decelerate myself, too. Alright, so I chose the wrong one. Let's take the bottom one. This is going to be the wrong one, isn't it? You dick. <laughs> okay, let's take this one. Hey, alright. Bank expansion drive. Completely useless. Yeah, so we want to go this way now. Why don't you depend on me? Why do you always go to Hoodie? That's not you. That's not my hero. You were the only one who wasn't cruel to me. The only one who recognized my worth. I don't want you to go. I don't want anyone else to have you. You're my best friend. Ugh. All right. Oh, I gotta visualize again. So it's pretty clear, like, right? Who he is? Now, I kind of figured it out when we first, well, when we fought K in the real world. When, uh, like, right before he left, he grabbed his arm in, in a way that only a certain other character has that we know. Let's take this one. Bring us below. It does. All right. Grab this. Thank you for that. And obviously, there's been some hints to something not being quite right with a disembodied voice that's always so kind to him. No, he's never really sounded kind. Is that my body? I feel like that's my body I just saw over there. That, that might be my body. I don't need the heal or anything like that, right? Should probably save. All right, let's go in. Yeah, that's totally my body. Why do I have a hoodie outfit on? Oh, it's the calf. Makes sense. This is, oh, K calf. Oh, is that why he chose K? Oh, damn, man. We gotta talk. <laughs> this is K Calf and Nakano? Uh, yeah, it looks like just. It looks just like the real world, but it's just a simulation. We're still on K's server. That's horrible. Simulating our special place like this? Do you get it now? I'm K. The one who stole your account was your best friend, you. At first, all I wanted was your avatar. The simulation was fine. I just wanted to be near something that looked like you. But after a while, it wasn't enough. 
I started to feel I needed the real thing. So I created enemies, the care of Saka and then Kei. If I could save you from them, and if we could beat them together, I thought you'd start depending on me. I thought you won. I thought you'd be my best friend, my ally, my vanguard. So then, everything up to now has all been a, just a performance on your part. Do you think it was foolish? You do, don't you? How could I tell you the truth? How could I tell you how I really felt? That I was no longer satisfied with just being your close friend. But then I finally understood. The voice told me. You'd never really stand by my side, would you? After all, the truth is what is that y even you were making fun of me, just like them. I've never done that, you! That's why you didn't go with me, right? You only go with them, don't you? You're just like them, like those low-life creeps that look down on me. The only difference is that instead of violence, you, you, for you it's just pity. So the only thing I could do was become so strong that no one would make fun of me again. And then a miracle happened! I was able to use Kay's power even in the real world. By using your account, I became you. The most ideal version of you. The one that's the strongest hacker in Eden. And finally, you would be with me. Now no one can beat me. Through you, I, I became the vanguard. Something resembling you. Get back. I speak for you now, remember? Okay, so... This you is actually the disembodied voice, and the real you is, like, kind of locked inside. This is all the I you wanted, right? This is the I you wanted to become. Rejoice! Now I have become me! Did, he was inside the mask! Don't I? Hey, you leave him alone! Oh, that's not good. He, his face, it's gone. Forget him. Madomon? Really? He's nothing more than a worm who lost his mind between self-loathing and hero worshiping. His talk of friendship sickened me, but he was the perfect exhibit on my slideshow. He swallowed everything I told him, and gradually I broke his will. Without confidence, his dream of equality were f fruitless. He wanted recognition, but lacked the courage to speak his mind. That's why he searched so desperately for ways to you gain your attention. But it backfired. Instead, it was Hoodie that earned all the glory. <laughs> it makes me laugh. The human heart is so weak and pathetic. <laughs> Relax, I want to thank you for the non-stop amusement you gave me. I will fulfill the hopes of me. I will become the you that you wish to be. If you won't be be my possession, I have no need for you. Is that not so? Well then, what shall we play? I've got it. Let's play Hero. We used to play it all the time, yes? I'll play the Dark Legend Vanguard K, and... You'll be... What was it? The Space Rescue Ranger? That was so much fun. But I, always, I was always the one who, was lo who lost in the end. It used to infuriate me. After all, the d I was the Dark Legend of Vanguard K. I was supposed to be the invincible hero. It wasn't supposed to lose. That's right, I cannot lose. I refuse to lose. Why must I lose to the likes of you? Because I'm um, the protagonist. I guess the side tagonist, but still the pro protagonist in this case. It can't be. It cannot be. It cannot be. Sure. Nice kicks. Uh, nice scream. Vampiric jewelry. Oh, you dicks. Ugh. 
No, that wasn't too bad. Are you actually fucking me right now? Oh my god. <laughs> Stop hitting each other. Stop. Definitely do not attack her. Alright, well, she's dead. Ha. Huh. Oh, nice hit. Hmm. I'm thinking. Stop. Stop doing that, you dick. I might actually have to go and equip uh, Panic Guard DXs on people. I have one on Mastamon. Okay, if I revive everyone and then he instantly panics them. We are gonna have to go back and go back. I'm not gonna try acceleration right now. Yeah, go back and like, I don't know, put the panic guards on. Yeah, um, I'll be right back. Alright, I got the Panic DX guards, or whatever they're called, on everyone. I kept the party the same. I could have put in Neptumon. Just figured I'd leave it as is, and then I'd change it up when we get into battle, because, you know, don't want to cheat, you know. It's not cheating, it's actually, it would have been a smart idea for me to do that. But, that's fine. Putting on the guards is good enough change you for you and then we'll accelerate for you as well so Slayer Jermon's gonna end this dude with a lot of damage here oh I'm a fucking idiot <laughs> hey guys guess who I didn't put a panic guard on doesn't need it. War Grain, Black War Grain, want to fucking end this dude, please. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Thank you. That's way less experience than the other ones. Perfect revival. Really? I guess get rid of this one. Huh? I already, already knew yours. It's over. Erika, you saw that, didn't you? It looks like the Digimon was inside that mask. It's an evil program designed to control people. That's how it did it to him. His vulnerable heart was twisted even more by his, this, this masked Digimon. He lost his mind and, in the end, even his body was taken over. Just like Ryuji and Arcademon. The one he wanted to see, the one he wanted to be seen as. I don't know which is the real one. It's not just him. You too, me too, we're all like that. But... Can't they all be real? Do we all have to just be one thing? Huh. Kazuki... Did you beat him? Huh? My... I just picked it up somewhere. That mask. I found it by accident in Kaloon. When I put it on, I felt so strong. My hacking skills, even my thinking. I was like another person. 
That's how I get mixed up with Zakon. I thought it was all my own power, but I was wrong. Everything I was able to do as K, it was all due to that mask. Everything he said is true. At some point, I, at some point, I just did everything he told me, and I couldn't control myself anymore. But you forgive me, don't you? Thanks. But that's exactly what it is about you that made me su in such agony. F made s in such agony for me. Say it. Tell me you hate me. Tell me you never want to see me again. I'm sick of you. I'm sick of how perfect you always are. Have you seen my eyes, you? Perfect? You know how low it makes me feel every time you show pity to uh, pity on me like that? Do you know? I can never be strong. I can never match up to anyone. No one will ever pick me. Uh... What? I mean, I kinda wanna... I wanna cheat. What, what, what about Erica, though? I th oh my god, is there two love choices in this game? Oh, I... Yeah, I want to choose it. Haha, <laughs> gotcha. Oh, he's just kidding. What's that? You're, you're such a fool. I'd be lying if I didn't admit it was a shock, the way you betrayed me. But I realized something, it's harder to choose than to be chosen. If your choice goes wrong, people laugh. They say you chose wrong. They don't know how much courage it took to make that choice. I was the one who thought no one would ever choose him. Wait, I was the one who thought no one would ever choose him. Oh, okay, yeah. Boring, average me. You killed that me. So I, hold, I sort of told him the truth. Thanks, I said. You chose me over a lot of other people. It may be a strange way of saying it, but if you hadn't chosen me, I wouldn't even be in Hoodie. So now it's my turn to live up to that choice. That's why I'm going back. I'm going to my new place. To that place. Save? Sure. That boss fight actually is rather difficult if you don't have protection. And I'm and I'm stupid. Like I'm like, okay, I'll just put the protection on three. I'll I'll go in there and I'll switch, and we'll all be good. You're know, like, I'm not gonna go in there with st like the type advantage, so it's not like I'm just resetting to have an easy time. Smart Kronos, fair Kronos. No, I didn't put the fucking guard on <laughs> Neptumon. So as soon as I switched out Rosemon, it's just oh, I'm now I now screwed that Digimon. Thankfully. Accelerate and penetrate is actually just like stupidly overpowered. You look really down. Were you thinking about your friend, you? I can't believe it. Could your friend be a criminal? And we ne and we never did find Ryuji. Oh, I'm sorry. I take this modified sticky net. Why? It's white now. Oh, sorry about that. I was, uh, you always seem happy when Erica hits you. I thought it might cheer you up. Are you masochist, Kazuki? If I, if I attacked you. But my modified sticky net doesn't smell bad like the normal one. It's got a relaxing gel. Do you feel better now? I think Kazuki just likes teasing Erica. Good smells annoy me. I feel happy. Oh. It doesn't look like it I helped. Humans are so hard to understand. Hey, listen up. Watching you made me think hackers are so cool. So I want to be a hacker, Digimon. I've never heard of a Digimon being a hacker. Wouldn't it be really cool? Eric and I share memories, so I'm pretty good at hacking now. My goal is to take over your friend as the new Vanguard. Take over from your friend as the new Vanguard. Okay. 
It's just like he said, become the Vanguard, the Hacker of Justice. Your friend went crazy because of a Digimon. He may have gone about it the wrong way, but that dream is pretty awesome. That's why I want to become the Vanguard and do lots of good things. If I do that, I'll prove that not everything you and your friends did was a mistake. And if I become a great hacker, Ryuji will be able to join Hoodie as one of my hackers, even if I can't return to the digital world. Two birds, one stone, right? Wormon's as enthusiastic as ever, or as always, it's actually cheered me up a little bit. By the way, Erica called us. She wants us to go to her room. Hello. Why are you all sticky? And what's that weird smell? Whatever it is, just don't get my room dirty. If you get that sticky stuff on my mammoth hand, I'll delete that hair off your from your avatar. That would be hilarious. Then I'll pixelize you, I'll pixelate you, and make sure you can never set foot in public ever again. What you like? Make it look like I'm naked? You look fine. I thought you were more. I, you were. I thought you were much more depressed. But you look ready for action. I finally realized the, the paper that Akeem Shaduro gave me, or analyzed. I'm uh, just entering the necessary data into the terminal. We'll start when I'm done. We're going to help Shatose next. With the reading information from Shaduro, I finally know what happened to Chose. His mental data has been assimilated by an eater. Take a look at this, it's Shaduro's papers about eaters. You don't understand it, do you? I know. Basically, eaters act like data-gathering devices. They collect data and send it somewhere. That's their main behavioral pattern. Eating syndrome results from an error that occurs when a human's mental data that has been converted into information is absorbed by an eater. The mental data is then sent via the eater network to the core mother eater in the digital world. That's what his paper says. In the digital world? Oh, in the digital world. So if we can make Chitose's mental- uh, if we can get Chitose's mental data back from there, he'll wake up? If we can believe what Shaduro written, that's- that is. I don't know Shaduro's objective, but I'll use any information that will help us- help me- will help get Chitose back. There's not much we can do without him, but I can't persuade my brother. I understand. Okay, let's do it. In this case, I'll be, I'm willing to trust Shaduro. I know what Ryuji uh, I know what Ryuji would say at a time like this. Being a hacker is all about taking risks. How about that? Did I sound just like him? Not even close. Oh come on. It was actually painful to hear. Oh. Hee <laughs> hee. And let's get this show on the road. First we need to find a route to the mother either. A route? It's like you said when we first met. There's a place in Eden that's connected to the digital world. That's where you fell from. I'm certain it's a junction between Eden and the digital world. We can use it as a route to the Mother Eater. For a moment there, I was worried we'd have to make our own route. That sounds pretty easy. If we follow the Eater network back, we should get direct access to the Mother Eater. Great. Is that what Shaduo's paper says? No, that is just my idea. He wrote about a different way of getting to the Mother Eater, so I couldn't decipher it. Do you remember where the junction is? Um, hold on. It's been a while since I used this memory. I fell into the world when I was really small, so my memory isn't very clear. clear. But I remember, I vaguely remember a big stuffed toy. The place looked like a park. Uh, it's a galactic park. Or the junk plaza. Yeah, that's the place. That's why I fell into this world. Then let's go to junk plaza. I'm so excited, and I just can't hide it. Saving a friend from the lair of an evil monster. That's just the kind of treacherous mission that it calls for the hacker Digimon. Hang on, Chitose. We're on the Vanguard is coming for you. Hacker Digimon? What's a Vanguard? Why is he so excited? I just hope he doesn't tire himself out too soon. He seems to, get, he seems to be getting more and more clumsy ever since he came into this world. Ouch! See what I mean? Anyways, I'll see you at Junk Plaza. Rescue and Return. Chapter 15. Are we actually going to fight the Mother Eater? Isn't that the final boss of the first game? 
five. Rescue and return. All right, so we got full revival spray, break point B, pop quiz, useless. Friends, yeah, let's do it. Uh, Ryuji Mishima must be tough. Take a break sometimes, eat something. Uh, something good today. Special, you're worried about me? Thank you. Today's special? She'd probably be more into that comment. It was fuzzy, but it seems there are a lot of cute Digimon. You like him on the cute side? Officer, what's your job? You like him on the cute side? She does. She, act she actually really likes cute Digimon. Anyways, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press like below. If you're not subscribed yet, when you end my videos, I can check out some of the content and see if it's to your liking. Once again, thank you for watching. Hope you all have a great day.